आजकल चटनी के साथ रोटी खाने पड़ते हैं इतना महंगाई हो गए जहाँ डेढ़ बजे बच्चों के लिए स्पेशल खाना बनता था वहाँ एक जगह रोटी सब्जी में ही सुबह में ही बना दिया जाता है कि इसी में काम चल जाएगा दो बार चाय पीते एक बार पियो क्यों गैस का खपत ज्यादा होगा अब इतनी आमदनी है नहीं जो हम गैस भरा ले गैस पे भी देखो पचास रूपए बढ़ गए जब डीजल महंगा होगा तो इसका प्रभाव किसानों पर पड़ता है Nutan is a resident of Sangam Vihar, a sprawling locality in South Delhi, inhabited largely by the city's poor. She earns 6 to 8 rupees per day as a home-based worker. The rise in fuel prices has affected her daily course adversely. First of all, the gas is a problem. Then I make food for lakdi. That's why I don't see the eyes of my eyes. I'm making food for the government. The government has increased the price of the gas and the price of the gas. It's very wrong. Because the poor people are earning the price of the gas. They are making food for the gas. They are making the gas 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 for the gas. Fuel prices have increased again. Last month, the price of diesel was increased by rupees three per liter, kerosene by rupees two per liter, and LPG by rupees fifty per cylinder. In May, the government hiked petrol prices by rupees five per liter. Though certain state governments have tried to provide some relief to the consumer by reducing their share of tax, the burden on the consumer still remains high. Protests have been on the rise, led by the opposition, against these repeated price hikes. Supporters of the price hike have tried to convince people with arguments suggesting that the hikes are inevitable. Statements made by the Prime Minister and Deputy Chairperson of Planning Commission suggested that fuel price hike will reduce fiscal deficit and bring down overall inflation. The justifications for the price hike, however, do not hold water, according to critics. A, if the demand goes beyond supply, then the prices go up. Two, if there is an increase in cost, it's passed on to the consumers through an increase in prices. All right. Their argument is that it is the former in our economy because the, the demand has gone up uh, beyond the supply, and that is why there has been increase in prices. So, if we bring that down, then the inflation would actually come down. The problem with this argument is, first of all, that is not the case in the economy. Demand is not so much that it actually our economy is still constrained by demand. So there is no point or there is no logic to that leading to an increase in inflation. Secondly, it is actually from the cost that the prices have gone up. So if you add on more to the cost through the indirect taxes, which the firms or uh, you know whoever is paying that uh, you know. Uh, tax they basically pass it on to the consumers and we are the ones who end up paying for it and in this particular case this happens to be for the commodities which poor use to a large extent so it is actually getting passed on to the poor of our country uska khas taur se jo garib log honge garib log gaon mein jinke paas bijli nahi hai ya jinke paas gas nahi hai ya lakri aajkal mahanga ho gaya to wo khane ke liye bhi khana banane ke liye bhi किरासन तेल का इस्तेमाल करते हैं। The reasons given for justifying the price hikes are the under recoveries of oil marketing companies, high international prices of crude oil, and high burden of subsidies on oil companies in the country. Critics, however, mention that the government has hidden facts which clearly show that there is no rationale for the fuel price hike. Under recovery is not a loss; it is often treated as if it's somebody has lost money because there's an under-recovery. Under-recovery is simply the difference between a notional price, which is calculated based on a formula, which was crafted on an import parity price. The formula includes freight pooling, it includes import duties, it includes uh, loss uh, in transit, so many other things. So you get an import parity price at the point of sale, and Against that import parity price, if the company is getting, let's say the import parity price is X and the company gets X minus 2, uh, 2 is the under recovery. It is not that X minus 2, the company is losing money. At X minus 2, also the company may be making money. Right? Uh, 
So under recovery is simply a difference between a notional price, which is a meaningless number, uh, and what the actual realization is. So it's not a loss. Let us now calculate why each unit of petroleum products cost so high. Before the prices were hiked, each liter of petrol cost the consumers 58.37 rupees. The production cost, including profit by the companies, is nearly rupees 30. Government's share of taxes accounts for the bulk of the balance at 27 rupees, with nearly one and a half rupees as the dealer's commission. Excise duty alone accounts for nearly 15 rupees. In the case of diesel, production cost is 25.11 rupees. After adding 11.88 rupees as taxes, the retail price comes to 37.75 rupees. Thus, there is a strong case for reducing tax on petroleum products. कि जो पेट्रोलियम प्रोडक्ट्स जो हमारे देश में बिकता है, चाहे वो पेट्रोल हो, डीजल हो, किराशन हो, गैस हो, अगर सभी का एवरेज ले लिया जाए, तो लगभग 40 प्रतिशत सरकारी टैक्स होता है, एड बेलोरम टैक्स। जैसे ही बढ़ता है, वैसे ही वो टैक्स बढ़ा देते हैं, और वो बोलते हैं कि कीमतें बढ़ गई। While international crude price is indeed high, diesel and gasoline prices in developed countries are lower than what is the case in India. In fact, gasoline prices in the US is lesser than the diesel price at pump in India. The logic of high subsidization is flawed too. During financial year 2010-11, petroleum sector contributed 1,36,000 crore rupees to the exchequer of central government and 80,000 crore rupees to the state governments. The total comes to 2,16,000 crore rupees. On the other hand, the subsidies were 40,000 crore rupees, that is, only 20% of the taxes and duties collected by the government. In other words, for each 100 rupees paid, Aam Aadmi gets rupees 20 in subsidy. There is no subsidy on Indian energy. I mean, if anybody tells you that the Indian energy sector is subsidized, they are not telling you the truth. Uh, and I'm talking purely the energy sector. Food is a separate issue and fertilizer is part of the food uh, uh, chain. Now, if you look at the total taxes collected on the entire energy sector, not just the petroleum sector, I'm also including the power sector because I treat the losses in the power sector, which are cash losses are running somewhere between 40, 45,000 crores. I'm including that also as a subsidy because the cash loss is nothing but uh, it may be theft, it may be whatever, but fact of the matter is that the state electricity board loses that money, loses cash to that extent. Now, even if I include that, the total taxes collected on the energy sector far exceed the total subsidies. So, to say that there is a heavy subsidy and that is causing a fiscal uh, issue is simply not correct. Uh, the energy sector is still a net contributor to your fiscal revenues. It would have made more sense for the government to reduce the indirect taxes on fuel and raise revenue through higher direct taxes on the rich. But that is not to be. Whether you price it internationally or price it in a different manner, energy will remain. It's a merit good. A lifeline level of access to energy is a merit good in this country. The fact that two-thirds of the population has no access to commercial energy should be a bigger problem than how we price this. Fuel price hike has been justified on the basis of high international crude prices. This is insensitive to the concerns of the common people whose wages have not increased in real terms. इस तरीके से होना नहीं चाहिए अगर होना चाहिए तो सैलरी भी बढ़ना चाहिए पहले ये पीस के 4 रुपए रेट था और टाइम से पैसा मिलता था लेकिन अभी ये पीस के आधी दाम हो गया है और पैसे 6 6 महीना जुला देते हैं ठेकेदार ने हमने ही उन्हें ऊंचा स्थान दिया और हमारे जनता के साथ ही अगर ये रवैया करेगी तो ये सरकार कितना दिन चल पाएगी Surely a government sensitive to the concerns of the आम आदमी should have avoided burdening the people further with fuel price hike even as inflation rages high.